Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to be discussing the haze removal module. This module helps us reduce the effects of haze in the photo and of dust. What happens is that haze and dust in the atmosphere diffuse the light and reduce the contrast, especially the color contrast in the image. We can use the haze removal module to reduce that haze effect. While this is especially useful in landscape photos, we can as well use it generally in any image to give it a color boost, especially when you have low contrast regions like the ones in this image here. All right, let's see how it works. Let's enable it and see what it does. There you go, this is the default settings and you can already see the change in color and contrast. We have two controls in this module. The first one is strength and it goes from plus one to minus one. Negative values add haze to the image Positive values remove haze. You can think of that as how much haze is being removed with one being 100% of the detected haze removed up to the distance. The distance slider here limits the distance up to which the haze is removed. Small values mean that haze is only removed from the foreground and progressively until if we pull it completely to the right then the module is going to attempt to remove haze from the whole image. Let's pull this to 100 and then now you can see the effect of changing the distance on the image. As you can see, it does a pretty good job at detecting parts of the image to change the distance. Of course, this is a ridiculous effect, but just to illustrate what the module does. All right, well, that's it. In summary, you have two controls. One is the strength. The other one is the distance in the image, starting from the foreground to the whole image. All you have to do is play around with them to see which effects works the best for your image. Short and sweet this time, a very simple module but quite powerful and it's really useful. I hope that you found the video interesting. If you have any questions, corrections or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.